Welcome back to my canal. Today. Okay, so today was my first day of volleyball in my college, right? And okay, so little yikes okay so a little backstory i tried doing this like two years ago but like i failed miserably and then my sister broke her leg and i was like i'm gonna just like bye you know like i just i felt miserably i was in a terrible place but think about it last time the last time that i played volleyball was like before the pandemic hit so i had like a whole year and like eight months that i did not play volleyball like year and a half that i didn't play volleyball i went in completely like fria cold this time, I played volleyball literally like two weeks ago and I was in a class, I don't know, a class. It feels more like an open gym, but point is I was playing volleyball. So I felt so much better about it. Also mentally, I'm in a much better place. So I woke up at like six in the morning, like freaked out cause I forgot why the alarm was on. And then I remembered volleyball. Then I had some cherries, I kind of got ready and I drove there. I played like, I had like a playlist set of like my hype songs. I played them, I got there and when I got there, Oh my god! Literally, this is like my arm thingy machine. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, but she's silent. So this thing was completely like done, like dripping, right? It was terrible. And I was like, whatever. I have my emergency bag that my mom likes sitting on. So I just threw all my shit in here. I had my backup water bottle and I shimmied my ass over there. Yeah, my knee pads were a little fucked up, but that's not the first time that that happens. So it's whatever. We started warming up and stuff and I felt good. I was like, yeah, let's do this. And so yeah, I just, my passing was okay. I was fine. So yeah, that's day one. Done. I am for sure gonna be sore. Okay, day two, done. Today we did, oh, we did it. We did hitting lines. Although when we got to the weight room because we did weight room today. Oh my goodness. I, I freaking, I folded. I folded so bad because back when I used to train in high school, like I was training straight, like diligently for like three, four years. So when we would be in the weight room and anytime we do like the cleans, like I do it with weights. But this time I couldn't even fucking like lift like this. Over the pandemic, I lost 20 pounds of like muscle mass, of, shit, of like muscle mass. And God damn, I felt it today. But oh well, oh well, that's, that's, what, that's what happens. It is what it is, so I'm just gonna have to keep pushing myself at a reasonable pace because I do have the tendency of overexerting myself. So I will just have to gauge that. I will do that and I will gain my 20 pounds of muscle mass back, so that's exciting. So, yep, there's day two. I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow, so, oh, so bad. My arms are completely fucked up. Like today I woke up, I was a little sore, but tomorrow, it'll be a miracle if I can get up. <sighs> okay at least i'm warm and i can move because oh my god that was my bun i woke up and i literally i i couldn't i couldn't move i i couldn't and then when we were warming up i had like a knot right here so i am in pain but today after practice like after we were at the gym we went to the aerobics room and we were just working on range of motion so yeah because yesterday we lifted so it was a lot of movement my shoulders are messed up well specifically this one but i'm about to go to um, acupuncture and um they're gonna do massage therapy too so hopefully we can work out that knot in my back i do feel stronger when i'm hitting now and my serves are eh, they're okay i want to do a top spin jump serve but that one is very inconsistent so i don't know why i have this but i do so yeah <laughs> We went out to the track today for like the last 20 minutes. It wasn't bad. I, I hate running though and I have I have no stamina because I haven't been doing any cardio. So it was a little heavy, but it was okay. And I made more of an effort to actually like socialize, right? I started talking to more people. Kind of proud of myself for that. And overall, I'm feeling better. Yesterday was definitely just kind of like my mood se estanco, you know, just I'm feeling much better. I feel my mood is way more stabilized now, so. I'm happy. I got to, we, we played Queens on the far court. Like, I got to practice my serving. I got to do all of that stuff. I got to hit. That was fun and passing. So I'm, I'm having fun. I love being here. This is, it's, a, it's quite the vibe. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I get to just relax more and just like involve myself a little more. Although it does suck because I always have in the back of my mind that I'm not going to be able to be on the team. 
that I can't even try out. So that's always in the back of my mind, but whatever. It's not like I haven't had to just involve myself in something that I know isn't gonna last. <laughs> that's fine. It's cool. It's a little, it's my, it's the moment, you know? It's the time, it's the vibes of this period of time, this month. And yeah, and hopefully next year I get to come back. I'm probably gonna see some familiar faces and I get to actually try out for the team next year. Yeah, good week, good week. I'm proud of myself for actually finishing it. We're almost there. <laughs> I say it like there's a meta at the end, but there isn't. I guess it's just, I'm excited that I'm able to actually like do this because though this is a challenge for me waking up early and doing anything is a challenge for me and like psychologically being able to finish this is a challenge for me but i'm doing it so i'm proud of myself i've been flip-flopping back and forth between what i want to do in the future because i'm like do i want to play do i not want to play but i think i really do want to try it out because I feel like with more time, I'll be able to, I don't know, regulate my reactions and my emotions better. I'll be able to get more comfortable with the people around me. Because I feel, fundamentally, I feel like that happy child that I was when I was much younger. But I always want to protect her, so I'm always like, you know, I always want to put up a guard. But I don't know. It just feels like a good vibe there. So I just, I don't know. I'm excited to see what happens. I hope to try out next year. I'm flip-flopping back and forth with what I want to do, but I think that I do want to play next year. I do want to try to play next year, starting with beach. So I don't care if I my pendulum swings to, uh, or a, yeah, let's do it. Um, I'm going to do it either way. So I'm making this decision now that I'm totally gonna do it. Um, my mental state and my animo will definitely be flip-flopping because what I'm saying right now is just me in this moment. It, everything constantly changes, but I will make the decisive, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna keep playing volleyball. Decided. So yeah, that's, who knows how I'm gonna feel about it later, but I'm definitively going to try to continue playing volleyball for the next two years, so. I got like half a head of hair since the last time y'all saw me anyway well there we go that's the end of week one practicing with deanza but this time with the actual mindset of i'm gonna try playing for the team and it's been amazing it's been so great because i feel like the main difference between last year and this year is that this year i feel so much more secure in myself both like just as a person and also as a player so if anything goes wrong, I'm kind of just like, ah, damn, and then I'll just, I'll just fix it. Whereas before, I feel like my problem was I would get in my head so much that it would just, I shut down. Whereas now I get in my head and I just can't do it consistently. But before it was like, I just couldn't do it at all. So I feel like that's one of the biggest, like, things that I'm cheering myself on for because I'm working so fucking hard so I can actually, like, get on the court and do my thing. And I feel like right now, um because i like yesterday okay so yesterday tuesday because we only worked out we only practiced three days this week because of um, the celebration of the evil empire and so since it's a holiday we we're only practicing three days and i think it was tuesday the second day my platform like every time i had to drop my shoulder specifically on my left side because on my right side i can drop the shoulder and get that angle but on this side it's like my right shoulder isn't used to dropping so when they told me okay and also backpedaling so instead of like running backwards i'd have to drop the shoulder open up and like run right but i have the habit of just backing up so then i end up getting I end up getting smacked right here, right? So if the ball is going too deep and it's literally like dead on, it would end up smacking me instead of opening up, dropping the shoulder and letting it, you know? So I feel like when they told me like, okay, anytime it's going behind you, you need to drop the shoulder, you need to open up and you need to go. And I feel like that gave me like analysis paralysis because then I was like, okay, when it's centered, what do I do? 
which sway do I drop? And I feel like since they told me I need to practice dropping the this the right and picking up the left because this is my weaker side, I was like, let me practice waiting up with this. And then it's like that second of hesitation caused me to get assaulted by the ball. And then I just, I couldn't. So I was shanking a lot because I was very in my head because I was like, okay, how do I fix this? Like, I just need to interpret what they said put it all together and then I was asking my teammates I'm like okay so if the ball's dead on like right here what do you do so I feel like all of that was just so much in my head because I was like okay so I do this, this like I was just doing so many calculations and I just couldn't actually like do it because I was so up here and I asked her because I was like my platform is just not there like what do I do and she looks at me and she's like it's not your platform it's and then she just like boinked my my head and I was like, you're right. <laughs> I was like, you're right, okay? You know what? You got my ass, you're right. You're 100% right. So since last night I played Revco, I was like, okay, let's do it. And immediately when I started warming up, I told my partner that was warming up with me, I was like, hey, yo, I need you if you can try hitting to my sides, particularly this left side, so I can practice dropping the shoulder. And we had such a good warm up, and I was like, okay, period, let's do this. And so when we started playing, I was, I literally, I was dropping shoulders left and right. I feel like when i'm with my team since there's so much that i need to like process it's like rotations who's hitting look at their arms since i have so much going on i feel like it causes me to get a little reserved just because i feel like okay i need it's like uh, information overload i feel like once i get more comfortable with everything that's happening the sets the swings the elbows locking into the hitters what am i doing defense offense let's attack what what am i hitting like i feel like the moment that i get all of that shit down i'll be able to be more locked in because i feel like i'm more locked in during revco because we don't do rotations we literally just like circle around and if we want to switch we can but it's more of like just focusing on getting there whereas with um with my team it's more like we actually need to keep track of the rotation we need to keep track of who's where we're switching we're doing all this type of thing and calling seems everything so i feel like i'm practicing the skills so much better in revco and then i can come back and then I, it's like i have the skill so it's like i'll go to practice there'll be something that i need to fix i go to revco i work on it in like a lower stress and i mean lower stress just because it's like less information overload and it's more like let's just play Whereas with my team, it's like, okay, who's getting what? Where are we going? You know, it's more tactical. So I feel like that's really helping me. Combining those two things is really helping me right now. So, and also the fact that I feel more comfortable just existing, I feel is helping me a lot as well. Because I feel like last year, I was just so terrified of everything that was happening. I was terrified of fucking up. I was terrified of just being myself and being an inconvenience and all this type of thing. But now I just, I'm literally there to do a job. I'm like, I'm here to play volleyball. I'm here to get better. That's it. I'm here to be the best teammate that I can be, to get the best plays that I can, to help out with whatever way I can. And I feel like that's like the shift that I needed to be able to actually like get shit going because I am so happy with what I'm doing right now and I literally joke around that it's like a part-time job because we're there from 12 30 to 4 30 today I went in to work on my serves and then the worst part is that, that when we started playing my god here during like the off period before practice i was ripping my serves i was just uno otro 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 right and i was doing a top spin jump serve you know the, you know like if you watch high it's the one oikawa does it's the what tanaka does like i was doing that serve i was and that's the one that i'm always like really iffy about because i really want to do it because i think it's so cool but i'm so inconsistent right so i was working on that one and i literally went through a whole basket of balls and then i shagged all of them then i went to the other side i started serving with my left hand because i can get the ball over with my left hand i just want to like get them a little lower because they're very like rainbowy anyway then i started practicing more with my right i was getting the top spin jumps over then i practiced some some um serve receive with another one of my teammates and we were doing good i was doing good i was locked in but then when we started serving actually like in games queens whatever i started missing and so once again i asked coach i'm like what's going on like is my contact how do i fix it and once again she just said so that's what i have to do and she's right because anytime that i'm like okay let's do this serve in my head there's that little like little mosquito of a thought that just tells me you're gonna miss you're taking a risk and i just need a and that motherfucker 
and that little mosquito of anxiety in my brain because i really like that serve and i just i gotta get it consistent because it looks so freaking cool so i gotta work on really like when i'm with my team even though i know it's a lot of information and it's a lot of things but like i gotta work on like getting it all in processing all the information it's like getting trained for a new job like anytime i get trained for a new job i literally have nightmares of like all the shit like when i was working at a boba place i literally had nightmares of the formulas for like a good week while i was memorizing them so i feel like i just need to get through those growing pains and once i get more used to it and i have more muscle memory of like okay this is where i'm supposed to be i feel like once my head clears from that and it's just my body taking over then i can use my brain in my brain capacity to think about other things like elbows arms swings angles all of that type of shit so yes i'm really excited more excited than i was last year because last year i was really scared but this time i'm excited and hopefully i get to play on the team fingers crossed and yeah i'm just i'm just so grateful that i get to do this because i was thinking about it last night and i'm like oh my god literally like I consider volleyball to be my occupation right now because, like I said, it's literally like a part-time job. I dedicate hours of my week to volleyball. Now it's like four per day. It's going to be like four days a week. And then I play Revco at nights, which is like another three to four hours sometimes. It's like 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Yeah, it's like another four hours. So I'm literally like, there's times where it's literally like a full-time thing. Four, in, four or five in the morning and then like four at night. Like, oh my God. And I'm like I said, I'm just so grateful because like what other periods of my life am I going to get to do full time something that I love so much and have a good time with people. And I feel like playing volleyball really has opened up my world because now I know people. I like it just it sounds crazy to say, but literally before volleyball, I can count the amount of people I knew by name on my hand, you know, or people that I interacted with on like a weekly basis on my hand on this hand i can count the amount of people and now i'm just like oh my god i know so many people and i feel like it's really exciting because it's just it just feels like a natural progression of like my healing journey and getting out of my shell and just like being a human and learning how to be a human and how to exist again in this world without feeling like i'm in danger right so yeah i'm having a lot of fun and that's been this past year so yeah let's fucking do it take number three let's see if i actually end up playing this time Woo! because <laughs> nothing's guaranteed anyway here's some other videos you guys can check out if you really like it thank you so much for watching see you if and when you choose to come back bye bye time to enjoy my chicken and drink i was about to say boba but that shit got no boba in it